This is Garden Girl Lynn Gahari with today's Seeing Double video. For today's video, I'm going to be focusing on using a collection kit from a manufacturer for both a scrapbook layout as well as a card. I'm going to be using the flashback collection from KI Memories. You can see here I'm just going through the different patterned papers. There's lots of bright, fun colors and prints. There's also these great uh, acetate 12 by 12 sheets of paper. You can see this one says smile and some die cut papers. I especially love this Instagram die cut, which I'll be using on my layout. There's also some great coordinating stickers, lots of different fonts on this sheet here, as well as some borders and some glitter stickers that I'll also be using on my layout. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use a 12 by 12 sheet of white cardstock for my layout base. I've cut some strips of three different patterned papers and I'm going to adhere those to my layout. This is going to be a birthday themed layout that I'm doing of my oldest son Darian. And I thought that these papers with the bright colors were perfect for this type of layout. This middle paper here is a little bit busier than I would normally choose for uh, my layout, but I'm actually going to be covering quite a bit of it with some different sized banners, so I'm not too worried about the busyness of the patterned paper. And I'm just adding a really fun, this is a strip of paper from one of the 12 by 12 sheets, but I loved the numbers and I thought it was perfect since it is a birthday layout. Here are the photos that I'm going to be using. I have one color photo and then I have this black and white photo that I sized to fit within this Insta frame. Again, this was cut from that larger 12 by 12 sheet that I showed earlier. And I'm probably going to arrange these somewhere on the left side of the layout. You'll see I kind of fidget with them quite a bit as I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to place them down. These are banners that I've cut from all the different patterned papers. I just want to mention that that yellow grid is actually from Simple Stories. It's not from KI Memories, but I needed something that had uh, more of a solid look to it so that I could print my journaling on it. So now I've cut these different banner shapes. I'm still in love with banners. It's a trend that's been around for a while and I absolutely love it. Uh, I decided to just layer these banners all the way down this sheet of patterned paper here and um, I placed my journaling right in the middle here and I have a very small strip of some multicolored striped paper that I cut and I'm going to use that on this top banner that's going to actually house my title as well. Now I'm just going to take a look again at my photos and I'm just getting an idea of how they're going to look on my page once it is uh, completed. So I'm just kind of fidgeting around with the placement a little bit so I can get an idea of uh, what embellishments I want to add next. I have this great border sticker with these multicolored uh, cameras on it that I absolutely love. This was definitely something that I wanted to add to my page and I thought it was perfect down here to help break up the multicolored patterned paper with that um, hexagon orange paper at the bottom. I thought it was a great border between the two. Again, I'm just looking, I'm figuring out what I want to place next. I have this strip that I cut from the acetate 12 by 12 paper and I think I'm going to, my idea originally was to add just another strip here along this uh, line of banners and you'll see that I end up changing this later on but um, originally I thought this would look nice here and I added a little bit of adhesive to the one side 
that was going to be hidden by the Instagram photo there. So um, I wasn't too worried about the adhesive showing. So, and you'll see I kind of flipped off one of the jewels there because I wanted my photo to be able to lay straight on it. So I uh, took away one of the jewels. Okay, moving along to my title, I love the font of these stickers. It's really fun. So I am just going to spell out eight here since that's how old my son uh, turned this past summer. And when I'm laying a title, I do it two ways. In this particular instance, I start from the back or the last letter and then I move forward because I know that I need my title to fit. Uh, on that banner and I can always position my photo in any spot to the left so I'm starting on the right side and moving backwards when I want to have a, a title centered I will often count to the middle of the word that I'm using and use start with that letter in the middle and then move out in either direction to the right and left that's just something that I do and I find that it usually works well. I can get my title centered if I need to uh, by using that. But again, here I knew that I needed that T to be right at the edge of that banner that I had cut there and so that's why I'm working backwards. I'm just using a ruler to help me get these letters straight. And usually I'll place letters down very gently. Uh, just to make sure I like the placement and then I'll go ahead and kind of smush them down again a little bit more uh, once I know that they're exactly where I want them. So now I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of pen stitching here. I love to add pen stitching to my layouts and um, I think the black helps to tie in the black printed journaling that I have as well as that smile sticker down at the bottom and you'll see actually I add more black later when I replace that and um, that's why I chose a black pen for my faux stitching. Okay so here are the glitter banner stickers and this is where I decided to replace the smile uh, banner that I had put down there with this simply wonderful sticker because I really liked it. I loved the the negative space there and I thought it would be fun to have the uh, the pink and the yellow paper show through. So I'm just figuring out exactly where I want to place that and I'm just going to fool around again with my photo placement. And you'll see usually my photos are the last thing that I actually adhere um, once I get most of my layout done and then I'll, I'll, I'll adhere the photos and then I go ahead and I'll adhere some of the extra embellishments. I had die cut these tags from one of the sheets of paper and I thought that I would add them up here on the top to break up that charcoal uh, text printed patterned paper up at the top. And you'll see I end up only using two of the tags and I end up keeping that third tag and I'll go ahead and I'll use that on the card that we make in a little bit. But I just thought this was a great way to add a little splash of color. Um, you can use your silhouette to die cut tags. There's actually silhouette or uh, die cut files in the two-piece shop. Or if you have a manual cutter, you can go ahead and use a manual cutter as well. And again, I'm just playing around with the photo placement and figuring out where else I can add some more embellishments. So this collection comes with some great stickers. I especially love this little black camera here that had the heart cut out in the middle. And I knew that I wanted to use it and adhere it with some dimensional adhesive. And then there's also this 2012 sticker and I thought it would be great since this is uh, the that was the year that my son turned eight. I thought it would be great to place that 2012 sticker in that negative space of the heart that's cut out on the camera. And I'm also layering it with there's another just yellow banner sticker that was on that sticker sheet and I thought um, that would be a great way to layer it a little bit and also to pull in some of the yellow 
that I used on that journaling uh, flag banner at the bottom there. So I'm just playing with the placement a little bit. And again, I'm gonna use dimensional adhesive when I adhere this to my layout. And now I have some black and white baker's twine that I'm gonna to use to tie a bow on one of the tags that I've die cut. And again, it's just another way. I, I purposely chose black and white because I wanted to tie in the black from my journaling, my printed journaling, as well as the black from that glitter banner sticker. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adhere my photos to my page. And I ended up using dimensional adhesive on the Instagram, the little Instagram framed photo. And now I'm just placing, there's this great little notes file tab sticker. So I place that on the side of my Instagram photo. And now this is a, a number paper clip from Studio Calico, and I was just trying to figure out exactly where I wanted it. Of course, it's the number eight again, and um, I ended up placing it on the side of that Instagram photo. And then I have another sticker here that I'm adding behind my top photo. Again, I usually just like to layer. I'll play around a little bit and see where I can add more embellishments here and there. I ended up adding a little heart sticker with some dimensional adhesive, and now I have some enamel dots from my mind's eye that I'm just gonna add for a little bit more detail on that heart sticker. And I decided I thought it would be fun to add some enamel dots to the lens of a few of the cameras on this uh, border sticker down here. And so I just chose some different colors that coordinated with the colors on that patterned paper. And here's a look at the finished layout and a few of the close-up photos. So now I wanna show you how easy it is to go ahead and create a card using the same supplies that you had out uh, from the layout that we just created. I'm just using a plain cardstock card base and I'm covering it with that yellow paper. Again, the yellow paper is from Simple Stories, but I wanted um, to just use something that had a very subtle pattern to it. I'm gonna take another one of those Instagram frames from that larger 12 by 12 die cut sheet and this is going to be a birthday card since we just did a birthday layout i thought i would just do a birthday card here as well here is that tag that i had originally die cut thinking i would use it on my layout and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use it on this card here i have another piece of that number strip that i had cut for the layout and i'm going to use that on the card as well Again, I'm using some more Baker's Twine. Again, a lot of times what I like to do is I will repeat elements on cards that I've done on my scrapbook layout. If a design element worked on a layout, chances are it's gonna work just as well on a card. You might just have to scale it down a little bit, but the same principle will work. So now I'm just figuring out where I wanna place this Instagram frame and I'm gonna use some dimensional adhesive to adhere it to the front of my card. I'm just gonna place the tabs right in the corner of the frame and I'm just making sure that it doesn't hang over too much so that the adhesive isn't hanging off the top of the card. And I apologize that that is out of frame a little bit there. I'm just gonna add some larger foam tabs to the bottom here as well. So 
So now I have this strip of um, patterned paper with the numbers on it. And I thought it would be fun to tuck it into the Instagram frame. And I want to make it have some dimension, kind of have like a little bit of a wave to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really bend up the left side of the strip of paper here. I'm going to give it a good little bend. And then I'm going to use a mini glue dot underneath um, the portion that is touching the card front there. And that's, I'm actually ad adhering the mini glue dot with my craft knife. And then I'm going to pop it up a little bit more and I'm going to use a foam tab under, under it so that it gives it a little bit more dimension. So I just, I liked the idea of kind of having it wave a little bit and um, kind of weaving it into that Instagram frame. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on the side and then trim off the excess. And now this is another sticker from that larger 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And I, it looks kind of like a starburst or like a, a sunburst. So I thought it would be great to place this right on the uh, number line here. And I'm going to use a number sticker right in the middle there to um, shout out the, um, the age. Uh, for this particular birthday card and I just I chose the number eight since that was the um, the number that we had used for the layout I'm actually using some jelly bean soup stickers for the number because the sticker sheet from KI memories didn't have any numbers on it so I just grabbed my jelly bean soup number stickers here Okay, so now I'm going to take these letter stickers again, the same ones that we used on the layout, and I'm just going to use a UR um, so that the card reads UR8 today. And originally I was going to place them right in the middle of the Instagram frame there, but then I decided I wanted to put something, kind of add something to the upper right hand corner of that frame. So I moved them down just a little bit. And again, I just, I use my tweezers when I'm placing my stickers. I, I find that it gives me more control than just using my fingertips. I've had these tweezers forever and I absolutely love them. <laughs> and if I ever lost them, I would be heartbroken because they are, they make it really easy to, um, to you know, use and uh, maneuver some, some of the smaller stickers. These are two banner stickers that are on that 12 by 12, that larger 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm gonna add those overlapping to the top right hand corner of that little frame. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a trim because they're a little bit longer than I need. And then to finish things off, I'm going to add another enamel dot in a coordinating color to one of the flags. And here's a look at the finished card and a detail image. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. For more information, please visit www.2peasinabucket.com under the video tab.